So in this video, I'm going to show you guys why I don't pay for iCloud storage. And also, I'm going to show you guys how to clear up your iCloud storage too as well. And as you guys can see, I'm using pretty much nothing. 120 megabytes out of the 5 gigabytes used. 5 gigabytes is the free storage. And then you can step it up to 50 gigabytes for 99 cents. Um, but I don't do none of that and I don't think it's worth it and I'm gonna show you guys why. The more devices you get essentially, the worse it is for your iCloud. I turn off photos. Photos is a complete, complete space hog. You should not use iCloud photos to back up your photos. I have everything off right here. And yes, it is convenient to have this on so it's on all your devices, it's backed up at all times. So if I open up Google Photos, where did I put that app right here? If you open up Google Photos, all my photos are right here. So it's backed up automatically, no problems whatsoever. And the beautiful thing too about Google Photos is free unlimited storage. The only caveat to this is it lowered down the quality of your picture. So I took a picture, a little, you know, quick little selfie. Quality of it is still remains. I mean, I'm gonna throw this picture on screen right now. And I gotta tell you guys, Google Photos, it might degrade the quality a little bit, but it's not too much to the point where you're gonna really notice it too much. And like I mentioned earlier, this is free unlimited storage. So I have over 7,000 photos right here. It's constantly being backed up. Every picture I take is automatically backed up in the background. Google Photos is where it's at, man. And you guys should turn off iCloud Photos just to conserve some space. Cause that's gonna go through in a heartbeat. And I used to struggle with iCloud storage um, for a long time. I always get the notification waking up, you know, not enough iCloud storage, unable to back up. It was just so annoying. Like every day, every minute, I had to go into my iCloud storage and free up some space. But I didn't want to pay the money too as well. And the problem with paying, honestly, you guys might say to yourself like, oh, it's only 99 cents, so why not? But think about it like this. That's 99 cents every single month. So 12 months, that's $12 a year. You know, the next year, that's $48 a year. So it's just going to keep on adding. And then think about it. You're going to be taking more pictures, more, you know, more content is going to be stored on your iCloud. So by the time you turn around, you're going to need to step up the storage, which is going to cost you $3 a month for the 200 gigabytes. Yet again, that's going to add up. The more devices you have, I just feel like you got to step up that iCloud storage. And the thing is, too, with Google Photos videos is also backed up too as well so google photos hop on that train if you're watching this video right now and logged into your google account make sure you guys download the google photos and also while you at it make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on another thing too i turn off is mail i don't use the mail application anymore on my ios device i use gmail gmail is gonna it's just so much better i get the push notifications now i would launch up my email but it's a lot of sensitive information but in my opinion i like the gmail's interface better than the apple mail application and it takes up icloud storage because all your accounts are pushed out and all that but but one thing you should always have ticked on are your contacts the contacts should always be on your calendars so any reminders you have is going to be pushed out to all your devices. That's not going to take up any storage. Um, I do have messages on iCloud, but I did turn off on my other last iPhone. Um, that's going to take up some space because it's going to be pushing out every single message on all your devices. If it starts to take up too much space, I'll turn it off. Wallet, so all my credit cards are updated on the, on the cloud. Keychain, that's cool. But one thing that I do have off, and it's going to surprise a lot of you guys, iCloud backup is ticked off and you should always back up your iPhone through iTunes on your computer. That is super duper important. This is where all your space, all your data, everything is backed up onto the cloud. So it's going to take up the most space and especially if you have an iPad, iPhone, maybe you have another iPhone or iPod touch, it's going to just take up a lot of space. But let's say for example, you don't have enough computer storage. You know, iTunes is not enough space to back up your iPhone. It'll be nice to put it on the thumb drive or SD card or an external drive or SSD. That would be good, but Apple doesn't allow that officially. But there's a workaround around it or a little hack. Um, you just got to go into the files directory. So I believe it's library, mobile sync, app support, and then you're going to see all your backups just like that. I'm going to have everything on screen right now so you guys can follow these steps. And then what you could do is just click and drag that backup folder, connect your external hard drive, and put it on your external hard drive. Click and drag, and that's it. So you have all your iPhone data, all your device data 
on that SD card or whatever storage device you plugged in. So it kind of just ease away from your computer storage because some of these iOS files are hundreds of gigabytes. And especially now with this new iPhone, you can go all the way up to 4K 60. It's just like insane. So I recommend doing that and have that backup somewhere safe. And then what you can do with the backup file on your computer, you can delete it off your computer because you already have the backup file on your external drive. You could always go back to that backup by connecting your external hard drive, putting it back into the iTunes folder, the mobile sync folder, and then you could be able to restore from that backup. Now there is another way where you can have iTunes exclusively back up through your SD card or your external device. And keep in mind, it can only be one external drive. So if you try to connect another external drive, it is not going to work because it's a different root directory. So it's a lot of sophistications with that, but you can do that. I'm going to throw this video link in the description. Yeah, so you will have to have that external drive always connected if you want to do the backup. So let's say you don't have a computer and you need somewhere to back up all your data. This is going to be your best friend right here. This is the RAV Power File Hub, and I highly recommend it. All it is is a file manager system that's going to allow you to back up all your information from your iPhone onto an external drive with no problems whatsoever. So right now currently it is connected to my iPhone wirelessly and all I need is an external drive. In this case I have an SSD. This is the Samsung T5 and you open up the flap. This might be one of my favorite gadgets of the year because this could be used as a hotspot too as well. So let's say you had a hotel room, it only has ethernet and you want Wi-Fi. You can connect the ethernet cable onto this gadget here and it's going to push it out as Wi-Fi. So you can use this as a Wi-Fi connection and then you could charge your phone using this USB here. And this micro USB is also used for charging. So this is charging the unit itself. But if I plug in my T5, my SSD, the phone is automatically undetected. Yeah. All right. So there, there it goes. So this is a 512 gigabyte hard drive and it detects it. You have file management and you can see what's on the external drive itself. You could play some movies, you know, you can play anything. So this is on the external hard drive itself. So this is pictures of when I was going to Florida. So you could drop some movies on here. So if you go into that long road trip, you can watch movies with no Wi-Fi. This is your Wi-Fi right here. So this is basically browsing your external hard drive files without connecting it onto your iPhone, iPad. And yeah, I think this is a very, very handy device. And of course you could put stuff on the external drive if you want. So if you want to back up videos, you could do so. Photos, music, uh, back of your contacts, etc. SD card backup. You know, you could tap on videos and you could tap on your phone, allow, and you could select all the videos that's on your device. So I could select that. I could copy two. This is my external drive right now. This is all the photos. And I could just really just paste it on here. And it's going to automatically put it on the external drive. And then you can delete it off your phone because it's on the external drive already. So that is another excellent way to save some space. And it's also convenient if you want to watch movies on the airplane. And there it is. It's completed. And now if I go back, I go into file management. And I go into the RAV Power Hub. This is my external drive. It is right there. But let's say you don't have an external drive. You could plug in an SD card right here on the side. So if you have a camera, you want to back up all the photos or whatever, you could do so by connecting an SD card here and pretty much do the same thing like the external hard drive. So this right here, it is $50, but it's worth every penny. And yes, yeah, another great way and efficient way to back up your photos, your contacts without using iCloud. Now, before you even disconnect your external drive, make sure you safely eject it by tapping on this icon. You're going to see the check mark and then you can disconnect it. But just make sure this is charged up. Now, once I did all of that, I pretty much have so much space on my iCloud that, you know, it really don't matter. And also with the apps, you know, you're probably going to use Procreate to have some data stored in. So I'm going to go into the files application, which by the way, I don't use at all. I mean, I used it. I had some very, really old uh, files like high school speeches and, you know, some college stuff. I had some really old files on there. So I decided to clean it up, put it on my external drive just to go back to those memories, I guess. 
but I completely cleared out everything here and this is a really cool feature so anything you put on here is gonna arrive on all your devices including your Mac your iPad etc um, so this is cool but it can take up a lot of storage if you don't go through it so every now and then it's super duper important to look at your iCloud storage or your iCloud Drive because it might be some files you really don't need and you guys are probably thinking what about the iMessage in the cloud I would say if you have the backup of your device you should be fine having a backup is more critical than anything so I hope this video helped if it did I appreciate it with a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on if you guys want to see more Apple related content and comment down below if you have any questions or concerns your feedback is always appreciated alright guys until next time peace